Hello, my name is Devin, and for this quest, I decided to do it on the decay of Advil. So here's some information about Advil. Medication that serves to help with fevers or pain, typically are ibuprofen. One of the brand names of ibuprofen is Advil. In one tablet of Advil, it contains 200 milligrams of ibuprofen, and it has a half-life of two hours. Adults usually take two different doses, one tablet or two tablets, and for the average adult, ibuprofen is fully effective when there is at least 50 milligrams in your body. So how do we know how often we should take these doses of Advil? Well, to do this, we need a formula, and the formula is going to be BT equals initial dose times one half to the power of T divided by two. For two tablets, it's going to be 400 milligrams, and we set it equal to 50 because 50 is the minimum amount that is effective in our body. 400 represents the initial dose. One half equals half time. Divide by two equals half-life time and how long it takes to reach the half-life. And when we solve this, we have 400 times one half to the power of t divided by two, which equals 50. We convert it into a logarithm. We get log base 0 0.5, 0 0.125 equals t divided by two, and we get t equals six. So which means when we take two tablets of Advil or 400 milligrams of ibuprofen, you should take doses every six hours. For one tablet, it's gonna be the same thing, except we have 200 as an initial dose. Instead of 400, when we convert that to a logarithm, we get log base 0 0.5. 0 0.25 equals t divided by 2, and we get t equals 4. And when we, that means when we take one tablet of Advil or 200 milligrams of ibuprofen, we should take a dose every 4 hours. So here is a model or a chart that represents the decay and the amount of ibuprofen throughout the day. So to calculate the amount of ibuprofen that we have in specific times throughout the day or how it decays, we use the same formula that we just used to calculate the amount of hours, however we don't set it equal to 50. So for 400 milligrams, the formula is BT equals 400 times 1 half to the power of T divided by 2. And at 7 a.m. we took an initial dose of 400 milligrams. At 9 a.m. we see that 2 hours has passed, so we put 2 instead of T, and we get 400 times 1 half to the power of 2 divided by 2, which will give us 200 milligrams which is how much is remaining in our system at 9 a.m. At 11 a.m., 4 hours has passed, so we put 4 instead of T, and we get 100 milligrams. At 1 p.m., 6 hours has passed, so we put 6 instead of T, and we do plus 400. And the reason why we do that is because, as we calculated earlier, when we take 2 tablets or 400 milligrams of ibuprofen, we have to take a dose every 6 hours. So 6 hours has passed, so we plus 400, and we get 450 milligrams. After we get that amount, we now want to put that into our formula and reset the amount of hours because we took another dose. So at 3 p.m., we have two hours since we took our last dose, which was at 1 p.m., obviously. So we now have our formula as 450 times 1 half and to the power of 2 divided by 2, because two hours has passed since our last dose, and this equals 225 milligrams. At 5 p.m., four hours has passed since our last dose, and we get 112.5 milligrams. At 7 p.m., 6 hours has passed, so we put 6 and 7 T, and we do plus 400 again because it's been 6 hours, so we take a dose, and we get 456.25 milligrams. Again, we put that into a formula, so at 9 p.m., we have 456.25 times 1 half to the power of 2 divided by 2 because not, it's 9 p.m., um, from 7 p.m., it's been 2 hours since we took our last dose, and this gives us 220. 8.125 milligrams at 11 p.m. Four hours has passed, so we put four instead of two, and this gives us 114.0625 milligrams. And at 1 a.m., six another six hours has passed. However, we don't take another dose. And what we do here is we just do 456.25 times one half to the power of 6 divided by 2, which will equal 55.53125 milligrams. And the reason we don't take another dose at 1 a.m. is because if we take another dose, we will have ibuprofen in our system for 24 hours. For 200 milligrams, it's going to be the same, except we have 200 milligrams instead of 400 milligrams as our initial dose, and we're taking a dose every 4 hours instead of 6 hours. So again, we took an initial dose at 7 a.m., which was 200 milligrams, 9 a.m., 2 hours has passed, so we have 200 times 1 half to the power of 2 divided by 2 because 2 hours has passed and this equals 100 milligrams. At 11 a.m., 4 hours has passed, so we put 4 instead of T. 
and we plus 200 because again every four hours for one tablet or 200 milligrams we take a dose so plus 200 this gives us 250 milligrams just like we did with the first chart we now put 250 into our formula instead of 200 because that's our next dose and we reset the amount of hours because it's, an, it's another dose so at 1 p.m two hours has passed since our last dose and this gives us 125 milligrams at 3 p.m another four hours has passed which means that we have to take another dose so plus 200 this gives us 262.5 milligrams at 3 p.m at 5 p.m we now have that into our formula so we have 262.5 milligrams times one half to the power of two divided by two because from three to five it's been two hours since our last dose so this equals 131.25 milligrams at 7 p.m another four hours has passed so we put four and 17 we have 262.5 times one half to the power of four divided by two plus 200 because we took another dose and it's equals 265.625 milligrams at 9 p.m we put that into our formula now and it's been two hours so it's 265.625 times one half to the power of two divided by two which will equal 132.8125 milligrams at 11 p.m another four hours has passed which means that we need to take another dose and we get 266.40625 milligrams at 11 p.m at 1 a.m we now put that into a formula so we now have 266.40625 times one half to the power of two divided by two because two hours has passed since the dose we took at 11 and this gives us 133.203125 milligrams at 3 a.m we took another we do not take another dose and it's been however it's been four hours so we just have 266.40625 times one half to the power of four divided by two which will equal 66.6015625 milligrams and the reason we don't take another dose at 3 a.m even though four hours have passed is because again if we take another dose we will have ibuprofen in our system for 24 hours. So what is the amount that we should take in a day and how often? Well, from looking at the calculations, when an average adult takes a dose of 400 milligrams of ibuprofen or two tablets of Advil, they should take a dose every six hours. And if they take a dose of 200 milligrams or one tablet of Advil, they should take a dose every four hours. When looking at the tables or charts or models, we can see that when an adult takes 400 milligrams, they should only take three doses for every six hours because if they took four doses, they would have ibuprofen in their system for 24 hours. And when an adult takes 200 milligrams, they should take four to five doses for every four hours because they took six ibuprofen, six ibuprofen will remain in the system for 24 hours. When comparing the two, the three doses of 400 milligrams of ibuprofen is better because it only requires three doses and it can cover a longer amount of time if you choose to only take four doses of 200 milligrams in a day. And it also gives your system more ibuprofen of 1,200 milligrams, which is a recommended amount for most adults. When adults only take four to five doses of 200 milligrams every four hours, it only gives them 800 milligrams to 1,000 milligrams, which is why it is better to take three doses of 400 milligrams every six hours. And that's it.